experience has been. I mean, it's electric, especially in the room where we just were and where we showed the teaser. It was beyond anything we ever imagined. Well, a lot of people had said, you're not going to believe the love in the room and the power of the room. And I was like, oh, that sounds sweet. That's nice. Standing out there on that stage was extraordinary. And when we showed the teaser, uh, I, I've never heard a reaction like that from anything. And it was, it was really the fans just having this, this amazing moment that we're so grateful for because they care so much and it feels so nice to get to share that with them because uh, you work on these things in a room well, for a long time. And the other thing is we think all the time, are we getting this right? Are we hitting the right notes? And when you get a reaction like that, it's, it's unbelievably gratifying. Now we got a long way to go because we've got no, seven done. months until <laughs> we're actually finished with the movie. But this was, this was incredible. To, it comes out to eight months. This. Is it eight months? Well, technically. Well, I just don't okay. want to like cut our we time don't short. Totally have December. No, I know, but every minute we can okay. get, Kathy. Okay, it's eight months. Okay. Well, I, I think we've reached a point now where we can share something like this with 23 countries. And, you know, unfortunately, you want to have them all in the room with you at the same time. But to be able to get a sense of how this is playing, and we're, we've been actually looking at some of the fan reactions. It's, it's been really, really incredible to realize that we can connect people in that way. And Star Wars does that on a level that almost nothing else does. The panel here at Star Wars Celebration uh, consisted of uh, Kathy and myself, and then we got to bring out uh, two of the amazing droid builders, uh, Lee and Oliver, who showed their amazing work. And then got to bring out some of the cast, Oscar Isaac, John Boyega, Daisy Ridley. Uh, and that was really fun and getting, especially for Daisy who's never done any sort of press before at all, to walk out into a room like that, sort of uh, trial by fire and she killed it. And, uh, and then we got to bring out some of the, the fan favorites, Mark Hamill, Carrie Fisher, Peter Mayhew, Anthony Daniels. And that was, uh, it was an incredible thing to get to get together again like that, especially in front of the fans. Yes, we debuted the teaser. Um, second that is, yes, second teaser. It is probably one of the more nerve wracking things we have to do because we put something out that begins to represent the movie we're making and we don't know exactly what the reaction is going to be. I would say. <laughs> the I think nerve wracking is ten. so <laughs> underselling it. But yes. No, the reaction was great, but the, the nerves were also. And so it's a. Uh, it's a huge relief to get to show it oh. and see that they like it. The escalation of screaming and then when Harrison says, Chewie, we're home, I mean, the place just went absolutely insane. It was bonkers. Yeah. yeah. The Force Awakens is doing is using the history that uh, we all know from Star Wars to tell a brand new story. And so it's, you know, the history of the characters in this world uh, share the history that we all know. So. The story is incorporating some brand new heroes, brand new uh, characters to get behind, but also uh, their relationships with, uh, as the adventure continues, with characters that we already know. And it's been a wonderful thing seeing how much everyone brings to the table. And uh, it's, it's like watching scenes between the characters, both all the new and, and, and combining them, has been an extraordinary thing to, to work on.